The Trade Terminal is a feature-rich professional trade execution and analysis tool. Setting it up. To get started, simply drag and drop the Trade Terminal from the Expert Advisors list in MetaTrader 4 Navigator onto a chart. Make sure the Allow Live Trading and Allow DLL Imports boxes are checked and that Auto Trading is turned on. We're now ready to trade using the Trade Terminal. Multi-screen trading. The Trade Terminal can be placed anywhere on your desktop. To do this, click on Settings and Undock Terminal and move the Trade Terminal to where you would like it. Multiple languages. The Trade Terminal operates in multiple international languages as standard and, if possible, will automatically display in the language used for your MT4. To change the Trade Terminal language once the MT4 is open, simply select the language you want from the main MT4 View Languages menu and either restart the MT4 or remove and add back the Trade Terminal. Trade Terminal currently supports these languages. If you would like a new language to be added, please ask. Overview The Trade Terminal consists of three parts. Market Watch, Account Summary, Order List. You can minimize the Account Summary and Order List by clicking on the double arrows in their title bars. This devotes the maximum amount of space to the Market Watch. The Trade Terminal shows all activity on your account, not just orders placed using the Trade Terminal itself. For example, if you're running an automated trading system or you place manual trades using MT4's own built-in features, then this activity will be reflected in the Trade Terminal's account summary and order list. Market Watch The Market Watch displays a deal ticket for each symbol. Each one of these behaves in a very similar way to the mini terminal. The comprehensive and powerful features of this deal ticket are described in the mini terminal video. The symbols in the trade terminals list synchronize with MT4's own market watch. For example, applying a symbol set to the MT4 market watch changes the list of deal tickets in the trade terminal. Account Summary the account summary shows key information about your account – balance, equity, floating P&L, free margin, etc. Setting Alarms We can set an alarm on any account value by clicking on the bell icon next to it. In this example, an alarm will trigger when our free margin falls below $1,000. Alarms can either be turned off once they are triggered or they can be set to repeat. A repeat period tells the terminal to ignore the alarm for a certain number of minutes. Alarms can be set to send email notification when they are triggered, as well as having the standard alert pop up on screen. We can also set an alarm to close all orders. This would typically be used in relation to an alarm on free margin, where you want to close out your positions in order to prevent a margin call. An alarm can also be set to close all charts. This option closes all charts in MT4 apart from the chart the trade terminal is on, thus shutting down any automated trading systems which are running on other charts. When alarm settings are saved, the bell icon changes to yellow. If an alarm is then subsequently triggered, the icon changes to red. Order list. The order list shows all the open positions and pending orders on an account. It takes the information from MT4's own order list and includes some extra details such as trade duration and profitability in pips. The order list can be sorted by any of its columns. Simply click on a header such as net profit to sort in ascending order and then click again to resort in descending order. We can choose to show all orders in the grid or only pending orders, or only open positions.
Closing Orders We can close an open position or delete a pending order by clicking on the red button next to it. The Close option on the toolbar contains options for closing several orders at once. Close all, close pending orders but not open positions, and so forth. In this example, we close out all our losing trades at once. Modifying orders We can quickly carry out actions on all orders at once using the Tools menu. For example, we could partially close each individual order or set a stop loss or take profit on each order. The same menu of actions is also available for each individual order by clicking on the toolbox icon next to it. We can also select any subset of orders, for example, clicking on one order and then holding down the Shift key while clicking on another order selects everything between the two. Individual orders can be selected or deselected by holding down the Control key while clicking on them. You can then carry out actions on your selection of orders rather than all orders by clicking on the Tools button and choosing Selected Orders. In this example, we quickly set a 30 pip stop on all our selected orders at once. A red exclamation mark next to the toolbox icon means an automated action is in progress. To see detail, click on the icon and choose Tasks in Progress from the pop-up menu. Order Details we can open a pop-up window for each order by clicking on its ticket number or by clicking on the toolbox icon and choosing Edit. Using this pop-up window, we can change the order parameters. For example, we can change the stop loss to a specific number of pips or a cash amount or a price. Automated Closes Automated closes let us define rules for exiting an open position. The rules can consist of multiple parts. For example, you can progressively scale out a position as profit increases. The rules can include visual and email alerts and can be saved as templates so that you can quickly reapply them to other orders in the future. OCA 1 Cancels All Groups the Trade Terminal lets us create a One Cancels All group of pending orders, a group where all the remaining orders are automatically deleted when one of the orders is filled. We select two or more pending orders and then give the group a name to identify it later. Again, a red exclamation mark appears next to the order to indicate that an automated action is attached to the ticket. Order Summaries we can view summaries of open positions by symbol or direction or duration, etc., using the summary menu on the toolbar above the order list. This pops up a floating window containing aggregated information about the orders, such as their combined profitability in cash and pips and their total volume. We can carry out actions on all the orders in a category by clicking on its toolbox icon. This displays the tool menu that we are already familiar with. For example, if we're viewing orders grouped by direction, we can quickly close out all the short trades. Settings We can control the settings for the trade terminal by choosing Confirmations and Preferences from the Settings menu in the toolbar above the order list. For example, we can turn on confirmations before placing a new order. Caution. Please note, some of the features of the trade terminal, such as alarms and trailing stops, are processed by the trading software, not by your broker. They will only continue to work whilst the trading software is running. As we can see, the trade terminal is rich with features designed to help traders to trade more efficiently, with better tools and better information in their language of choice. For further information, please contact us or check the website for the software's detailed user guide.